It's time to break loose, just relax, and make some apple cinnamon galettes. I want to put a sour cream filling at the bottom of each apple galette. I'm just loosely measuring about a half a cup of sour cream. And a couple tablespoons of dark brown sugar just a splash of vanilla. So this sits underneath the apples as they bake. I've got four cups of sliced tart apple. So any apple you like to use in apple pie, Granny Smith, Mutsu, Spy, Spartan, or mix them up. And I will add half a cup of the dark brown sugar, a touch of cinnamon, and just give this a stir. I prepared that same essential pie dough recipe that I used in the butter tarts, except I rolled out the crusts into six pieces. So I just put a generous dollop in the center of each. Just put a generous handful of apples in the center of each. Okay. Just a little piece of butter, about a teaspoonful on top of each. And now for the fun of folding. Just right over the fruit, and you want to overlap the folds. Remember, it's not supposed to be perfect. I brush a little egg wash. This adds shine. It also helps to hold the galette folds in place. And the finishing accent, a little turbinado, dry, coarse brown sugar. It adds a nice crunch and a hint of sweetness. These are ready for the oven. I've preheated it to 375. Because these aren't sitting in a pie shell, they don't need that 400 degree oven to really get them set. They'll set on their own and after 20 to 25 minutes, be ready to come out of the oven. The smell of apple pie with a fraction of the effort.